It is important to perform various maintenance practices to maintain optimum performance for your machine. To clean your turbo brush, twist the gray collar counterclockwise. Once the slot appears, separate the faceplate. If the paddle wheel gets dislodged, align the two clips on each side and pop it into place. The faceplate will not close properly if all the parts are not aligned correctly. Press the empty button and pull the handle to lift the dirt container away from the vacuum. Holding the dirt container over a trash bin, press the release button on the back. Once empty, snap the bottom back into place. To clean the pre-motor filter, open the dirt container lid by lifting the release latch on the front. Remove the pre-motor filter and pull the filter out to clean. Once it's clean and dry, place it back in the dirt container lid. To access your post-motor filter, the dirt container must be removed. Press the filter cover release button to access the post-motor filter. Clean all the filters with mild detergent, rinse and squeeze all excess water. Allow filters to dry completely before reinserting. To clean your separator, the dirt container must be removed. Remove the separator by twisting to the left and removing. Rinse and dry all sections of the dirt container with paper towel. To replace the brush and belt, turn the vacuum off and unplug. Turn the unit over and unscrew the Phillips head screws to remove the bottom cover. Pull the roller straight out, threading it through the belt. Replace the brush roll and belt by looping the belt over the motor shaft and the brush roll. Line up the end caps and pull the brush roll. This will stretch the belt. Align the belt by spinning the brush until centered. Once the brush roll is reinstalled, place the bottom cover back on and replace the screws. To clear a clog, remove the hose from the back of the vacuum by twisting it to the left. Remove any debris that may have been clogged. Check the foot hose on the back of your vacuum towards the bottom. Remove the screw from the foot hose and check for clogs. Check the air passageway on the bottom of your vacuum. Remove the bottom cover and the brush. Remove any debris that may have been clogged. 